Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, its uh, base A, B is 30 units. And this angle uh, B, A, D is 30 degrees. And moreover, this base uh, C, D is equal to this uh, height uh, B, C. And furthermore, uh, this angle is our 90 degree angle. And likewise, this is our 90 degree angle as well. And bear in mind, the trapezoid is also called the trapezium. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid A, B, C, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this angle 30 degrees and likewise these angles are 90 degrees each. And now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simple. So therefore I have dropped this perpendicular DE on this base AB as you can see in this diagram. And now let's focus on this right triangle AED. We know this angle is our 90 degree angle, this angle is 30 degrees. And we know the sum of uh, all the interior angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be our 60 degree angle. So therefore we can see that this uh, triangle AED is our 30, 60, 90 special triangle. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, square uh, EBCD. If I label uh, this side length uh, as uh, X, and since the square has all equal sides, so this uh, length is going to be X, this side length is X, and X uh, across uh, the board. And now let me go over the basic uh, review. And in this uh, triangle uh, AED, 30 degrees is our smallest angle, whereas uh, this 90 degrees is our largest angle. So therefore, uh, the side opposite to this uh, smallest angle is going to be our smallest leg, whereas the side opposite to our this uh, largest angle is going to be our longest leg. That is also called the hypotenuse. So in such kind of special 30, 60, 90 triangle, the longest leg is always uh, twice the smallest leg and we know our this uh, smallest leg is uh, x so therefore our longest leg has got to be two times uh, x and this uh, third leg has got to be x times uh, the square root of uh, three and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole base uh, a, B is going to be the sum of these two individual segments, so X times uh, square root of three, and this segment uh, X. So therefore, I could write down uh, this uh, A, B side length is going to be equal to X times uh, square root of uh, three plus uh, X. And we also know that this uh, base A, B is uh, 30 units as well. So therefore I could write uh, A, B length uh, is uh, 30 units. And now if we compare uh, these two equations, then uh, I can see that the left hand sides are identical. So therefore I can equate the right hand sides uh, as well. So therefore we are ended up with uh, X times the uh, square root of three plus uh, X is going to be equal to 30. And now we can see x is in common. So therefore I could write uh, x times uh, square root of uh, three plus one equals to 30. And now I'm going to divide both sides by square root of three plus one to isolate x. Here we can see this is gone with this one. So therefore our x value turns out to be 30 divided by square root of uh, 3 plus 1 and now I am going to rationalize uh, this uh, denominator by multiplying and dividing uh, by the conjugate 
and the conjugate for the denominator is going to be the square root of 3 minus 1 divided by square root of 3 minus 1 as well. And now I'm going to multiply 30 times uh, this uh, numerator and likewise I'm going to multiply out uh, these uh, denominators uh, as well. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b times a minus b equal to a square minus b square. In other words, the product of the sum and the difference is always going to be equal to the difference of the squares. And we are going to apply this identity on the denominators. Therefore, uh, this denominator could be written as uh, square root of 3 whole uh, square minus uh, 1 square. And we know square of uh, square root of 3 is going to give us uh, 3 minus 1 square is 1. So that is going to give us simply 2. So therefore, uh, this whole denominator has been simplified to 2. So therefore, we could write uh, x equals to 30 times uh, square root of 3 minus 1 all over 2. And here we are going to reduce uh, these numbers. So therefore, uh, our x value simply turns out to be 15 times square root of 3 minus 1. So the sour x value turns out to be 15 times square root of 3 minus 1. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this trapezoid A, B, C, D. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area is always equal to the height h times uh, the sum of these two bases uh, a and b all over 2. And here we can see our height of this uh, trapezoid is uh, x and our two bases are uh, this one is uh, x and this other base uh, is uh, 30 units. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we are going to write down a half uh, times uh, our height uh, is uh, x uh, times uh, our uh, base is uh, 30 plus uh, x. And now we know our x value is 15 times uh, square root of 3 minus 1. We are going to substitute that values uh, over here. So therefore I could write down uh, a half uh, times uh, our x value is going to be 15 times the square root of uh, 3 minus 1 and then times uh, the other value is going to be 30 and then uh, plus our x value. If I distribute uh, this one that is going to give us uh, 15 times uh, square root of 3 minus uh, 15 and now we are going to focus on this uh, bracket uh, if we simplify, 30 minus 15 is going to give us 15 plus 15 times square root of 3. And here we can see 15 is in common. So I can write down 15 times square root of 3 plus 1. So therefore, this whole bracket has been simplified to 15 times square root of 3 plus 1. So therefore, we could write a half times uh, in this first bracket 15 times uh, square root of 3 minus uh, 1 and then times uh, for the second bracket is going to be 15 times uh, square root of 3 plus uh, 1 and now if we multiply 15 times uh, 15 that is going to give us uh, 225 so therefore we could write this thing as uh, 225 divided by 2 outside and side bracket uh, is going to be square root of 3 minus 1 times the square root of 3 plus uh, 1. And now let's recall this identity once again. a minus b times a plus b is going to be equal to a square minus b square. And we are going to apply this identity inside this uh, bracket. So therefore, uh, when we apply this identity on this one, this could be written as square root of 3 whole square 
minus uh, one square so therefore this could be written as three minus uh, one is going to be equal to simply two so thus this whole bracket has been simplified to two so therefore we could write down uh, 225 divided by 2 and then times 2 and if we simplify so the area of this uh, trapezoid is going to be simply 225 square units and that's our answer so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this trapezoid ABCD turns out to be 225 square units and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.